just a minute, so. Oh, interesting. Until we can talk with the people. Hello, we're getting ready to go live. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> we got about, yes. uh, what? I, I, while, we're, while we're waiting to get this started, do you have Liberty Butchable? <laughs> <laughs> liberty, liberty, liberty. <laughs> liberty, 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 liberty. <laughs> this is going to be the most popular part of the Facebook Live. We're going live in about uh, 25 seconds here. So uh, if you're joining early, you're getting the outtake portion of it. So, uh, but anyway, we're letting people join the Facebook Live feed here. So uh, about 15 seconds, and we'll get serious in about 15 seconds. So <laughs> about 10 seconds here. And we are now at... 12.30. Good afternoon. I'm, I'm glad you joined us for this uh, word of encouragement today. I uh, appreciate so much the opportunity to come into your life and your home. Uh, I want to send out birthday greetings to uh, John Barnon. He usually helps us with these recordings and today's his birthday. So John, wherever you are, happy birthday. I grew up in the uh, 60s and 70s. And those were difficult times for many Americans. We had the Vietnam War, Watergate, the gasoline oil crisis, drug abuse. Gary Dahl was sitting in a bar, drowning his sadness, sorrow, and someone said to him, man, you need to get a pet. And Gary said, yeah, all I need is an expletive pet that I'd have to feed and take care of and everything else. So he went home, a few days passed, and he had this idea. The perfect pet would be a rock. Hence the idea of pet rock. He hired some kids to collect rocks for a penny each. He sold them for $3.95. I helped him make millions of dollars because I bought a few of those rocks and gave them out as gifts. Now, I, I want to share today that there's not really any emotional strength in a rock or spiritual strength. But there is tremendous symbolism. When King David went to fight for Israel, he stood before Goliath. And all David had in his hand was a small pebble. But God used that to set Israel free. Later in 2 Samuel chapter 22, David was thinking about all the things that God had done for him and how each time he placed his faith in God, God always blessed him. And David wrote these words, The Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. When David's problems surrounded him, he simply turned to the rock of Jesus. There's an old gospel song that says, Jesus is a, is a rock in a weary land, a shelter in the time of storm. These are tough days for Americans, for people worldwide, for Christians, for Grace Works. I don't know what you do, but I find strength and hope by sit, spending some moments alone with God. I've chosen the background of the rock today. You may recognize this rock in the background as one that's on the property at Grace Works. What I'm going to ask you to do is find a rock. You can use this one or you can find one in your neighborhood or wherever and take a picture of yourself at that rock. Save it on your phone, post it on Facebook, share it with us. And when you feel really burdened, when you need strength, 
when you're concerned about others. Go to the rock of Jesus Christ and let him bring comfort and peace and victory to your heart. Would you join me as we pray? Tell me, Father, in these troubled times, we seek peace, victory, meaning, and direction. Lord, help us not to get so caught up on looking at ourselves in a self-pity party that we miss the opportunity of hurting people all around us and our call to assist those hurting people. Thank you, Lord, for the rock of Jesus. Thank you for the support of friends, for the blessings that come with being part of a church family such as at Grace Works. Guide us through this difficult time, and may we take our stand on Jesus Christ. Lord, we lift up our president, all of our leaders, and ask that you would grant them wisdom as they lead us. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. I hope you'll join us tomorrow for another word of encouragement at 1230. And then pray with us as we hope that on Easter Sunday, we can have a service in the parking lot in which everybody will stay in their cars. And there's nothing definite about that, but I'm making it my prayer. God bless you. Have a good week.